Hi, welcome to March's virtual painting class here at Westside. I'm Victoria, and this month we will be painting Digging for Carrots. In your kit, you're going to get a blank canvas, your traceable, and carbon paper. Okay, so in this month, you will be getting brown, white, pink, orange, green, black, blue, and brown paint. When you set up your palette, I would suggest putting your white next to your brown and then the other half of your white next to your blue and black because you will be doing some mixing this month. You will be using the black and the white to create gray and then you're going to be mixing white with the blue to create your truck and your background, you'll be mixing white with brown. All right. Paint brushes for this month, which are not included in your kit, are you're going to need one large flat brush. I'm using a 3 4 inch flat. You are going to need a medium sized brush. I am using a size 8 filbert. If you don't have a filbert, they're the paint brushes with the round tip that look like the eyeshadow brushes. A flat brush would work and you need an eight or a six in that. And you're going to need a liner brush. I am using a size two. You can certainly use a size one or three, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you have at home. You just need a small brush to do the lining to work on those fine details. So um, don't forget, you're gonna need some paper towel and some cups of water. All right, let's start painting. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is paint our background. We are going to take some of our white and some of our brown and start painting it in. It is going to to be, to create a light brown color. So when your background's dry, you're going to take your carbon paper and lay it on your canvas, shiny side down, and then take your traceable and make sure it's lined up and on the canvas. Make sure it's like where you centered on the canvas. And now you are just going to trace over your traceable.
and once you've removed your traceable and your carbon paper, you're going to see that you have your drawing on your canvas. All right. So, first off, we are going to paint our truck. We're going to need our blue and our white. I'm going to take some of the blue and take some of the white and just start mixing it to be a blue that I want. I just want it to be a lighter blue than that cobalt blue, like a nice medium. Think of it is like almost like a sky blue. I'm trying to So by mixing my paint, I got a lighter blue, but I have a lot on my paintbrush. So I want to get some of that off and just kind of dab it on the side. All right. So my paintbrush is loaded with blue. Still have a little too much that I want. So I'm going to try to get some more off. Okay. So I'm going to start at the edges and just start filling in that blue. All right, one of the reasons why I like to use a filbert is because it has that tapered end on the edge so I can cut in with it. You want just enough paint on your paintbrush where it flows but not enough where it's a glops on. Um, if you notice, while I'm going around my f the feed and the headlights, I'm just using a very, very tip of the filbert. Um, if you have a flat at home or if you find it hard to go around the detailed work with the larger brush, you can switch to your liner. So, all right, so I'm in a broad area here, but I'm getting up into some detail work. So let me show you. So I'm gonna take my liner brush, get some paint on it, and then go in around the closed in areas. All right. And now I can switch back to my filbert or my flat. If you're using a flat, um, what works really well is just to use the corner of your brush, kind of like turn it like this at an angle and just use a corner to go around an object. Okay. 
All right. Now, when you are painting portions of your truck, kind of look out because the pencil lines do tend to blend with the background on this one. And you might find yourself painting part of the bunny blue. And while you can always go back and repaint over the area, if you do end up getting some of the bunny blue, um, you know, it's just easier to kind of avoid that. Okay. So we have that part of the truck done. Okay. I noticed that my line for the mirror did not come all the way down. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, so I'm gonna move my canvas. I am going to paint. I am actually going to switch to my liner brush to do my headlights. And that's what your liner brush is for. Uh, I know I tend to see where we just use it for lining and touch up, but you also use it for small detail work like this. I'm going to flip my canvas again and I am going to do the second headlamp. Got a little too much paint on there. lights are done so we're going to move on to the top of the truck all right so once again this is a small area so i'm going to cut in with it with my lining brush Mm -hmm. 
Now, something I'm doing with this one is I'm actually using the painting I had done before as a reference to which make sure I'm getting the blue parts blue. Um, there is a color picture that comes on the instruction page and it is handy to have that as a reference guide, especially for this one. I am finding that because the background is this brown that the pencil marks really blend in with it and having the colored picture for reference helps to make sure I'm painting the truck, the blue that I'm painting, that all the parts are separate. Okay. All right, and I am going to switch back to my filbert. And I'm using my liner brush again. Okay. All right. So our truck is blue. All right. I want to take my white and I'm going to start painting in my rabbit. Now I am using my filbert to paint in the bottom of my rabbit, but you can use that liner brush. Whatever works for you.
So I am going to switch over to the liner brush for the tail and the feet. So we got our bunny painted. So we want to take some of our black and some of our white and we want to mix it together till we get a light gray. Mm. 
。嗯，好。OK， and I'm gonna take my filter. And I'm gonna start painting the gray of the bumper. All right, so I'm gonna use the liner to do the headlights and the side mirror. And our side mirrors. Okay. Um, can you stop for a moment? Okay. All right.
Okay. So my paintbrush is clean and I'm gonna go in and paint my tires. Just use some black. Okay, and don't worry about the tires just kind of looking like black blobs right now. We're going to go in and we're going to add some detail to make it look more tire-like. Okay. All right. All right, so we are going to paint in our carrots. So I'm gonna use my liner brush and go in with some of that orange. those two in. Okay, our carrots are done. We're gonna clean our brush. And we are going to paint our carrot tops. Okay. 
And we just go around the pencil marks. Around our curve top and fill in. Now I'm doing all of this with my size two liner brush. If you want to use a slightly larger liner, you can. So we have carrot tops. I'm going to clean off my liner because we are going to go in and paint our flag pink and our the bunny paws. And we're making just filling in the circles on the bunny feet. So if you've lost some of your definition for the pads on the paws, just think you're just making circles. Uh, 
All right. We are starting in on to add our details. The first, we're going to add some white zigzag lines to our tires. Okay. And then we're going to add just a little like crescent shape to our headlights and our side mirrors. All right, so that does it for the white. And we're going to do some outlining with our black. All right. And the thing that one does is give a certain option. That is our digging for carrots. <laughs> Thanks for joining me for painting digging with carrots. Next month, we will be painting flowers in a watering can. All right. So you can view this video and all of our past painting videos on the Rapids Parish Library Facebook channel and YouTube. All right, guys, I'll see you next month. Bye.